There's been so many times where I've almost died. Mina Savari says her trauma began when she was just 12 years old and raped by a friend of one of her older brothers. My virginity was taken. Yeah, that I feel like was the beginning of the end. Mina says part of her died that day and says she never got to have a healthy expression of sex. I didn't hold any value around that, you know? There was just, there was no value around that for me. Mina grew up in Newport, Rhode Island. Her dad, a psychiatrist, was 25 years older than her mom. Her family moved around a lot, and she says she never really got to know her father, and that added to her loneliness. When she was 15, her mom moved out of the home to find herself. Mina was just beginning her acting career, and her manager wanted to have a sexual relationship. She says she didn't feel like she could say no. But one of the ways that you tried to um, get through these difficult times, trying to align your past with the life that you were li living now was, you write about in the book how you turned to drugs and the rave parties and the late night clubbing scene to basically escape. I didn't want to be at home at that time. It was very hard for me emotionally. At the same time, you're, you're becoming famous. I mean, you had this breakthrough role in American Pie and then American Beauty shortly after that. Your dad's actually kind of cute. You talk about having a relationship with an older man because that's the role you're playing in this movie. How did you identify with that character? I was playing that role just another time, yet again. It's a conversation around, you. why did I so casually end up in these rooms with older men? And it was just understood. And that was okay. You also talk in, in heartbreaking detail about how you continue to repeat these kinds of relationships that were toxic for you. You make up the name of the guy that you were with, Tyler, is what you call him. But this relationship was, is toxic the right word to describe it? Abusive as well? Oh, like evil, you wanna call it? <laughs> there was a moment where I was sitting in that apartment, sitting on the sofa, and I literally thought, well, all of my stuff is here, and I have nowhere else to go. How did you finally break free from that relationship? It was a process of how I would, you know, I'd pack up all of my stuff, and I would drive around in my new car that I bought for myself that I never got to drive, and I would scream at the top of my lungs trying to feel heard. But it was an extra on the set of American Beauty who helped Mina begin to find her voice. When I met Tracy, she became a good friend to me and someone who literally told me to my face in a way that no one had said to me, it doesn't have to be like this. Mina left Tyler in 1999 and began her path to healing. The 42-year-old met husband Mike Hope, a set decorator, while filming the Hallmark movie, I'll Be Home for Christmas. They married in 2018. When I finished writing the book, I found out I was pregnant. So how meaningful yeah. was that moment? Incredibly meaningful. It was, I mean, I've always wanted something like that, something beautiful like that to happen in my life. And um, I came to believe that I couldn't have it. What message do you want to give to so many other silent victims of abuse that may need your encouragement or hope? Just simply that you're not alone. That's just what I so severely thought. And it came down to those simple thoughts. Like, well, I'm just, I have nowhere else to go. And you know, why would anybody care? And they will, and someone always will.